As you tackle common laboratory tasks, including measuring pH, it's important to understand your samples so you can choose the right equipment. Although pH testing seems simple, it can be complex and not always easy to understand or get right. A pH measurement requires a system that has three parts, a pH meter, a pH buffer or calibration solution, and a pH electrode. Not all users understand that the pH meter simply serves as a display and storage aid only. It's actually the pH electrode that conducts the sample analysis and is the most pivotal part of the entire pH system. It is essential because it controls the precision and reproducibility of your results. Choosing the correct electrode is key to an accurate pH measurement. So let's see why. Because there are so many options, it's often hard to know which pH electrode is right for your application. To find one that's appropriate, you must first understand your sample. Many modern pH electrodes contain silver ions as part of their reference system. But some samples, such as proteins, tris buffer, enzymes, and sulfide, may react with silver. These reactions can compromise your sample and cause the electrode to malfunction. To solve this issue, use a double junction reference system that doesn't allow contact between your samples and the silver ions, or simply use a reference system that contains no silver ions. The thermoscientific Orion Ross line of pH electrodes uses a non-silver double junction reference system that's suitable for samples of this type. Ion concentration can significantly influence pH readings because pH is a measurement of hydrogen ion activity. The levels of all ions in a sample, known as ionic strength, can affect hydrogen ion activity and therefore pH readings. Most electrodes are designed for mid-range ionic strength samples, which makes it challenging to get accurate readings for low ionic strength samples like potable or ultra-pure water, and high ionic strength samples like brines or seawater. Issues may include drift in readings and bias due to large junction potentials. Difficult applications require electrodes with suitable reference junction designs for improved performance. Open, capillary, renewable, or flushable junctions are preferred. These designs allow for good electrolyte flow and fast response. In addition, they resist blockage and are easy to clean by rinsing or flushing. Samples containing particulates can be problematic for certain electrodes. For example, glass electrodes with porous ceramic reference junctions can be blocked by particulates. This disrupts the reference signal and can lead to unstable readings. Epoxy electrodes with wick junctions can be affected too. Yet another reason to make an informed pH electrode purchase. This can be solved with an open, capillary, renewable, or flushable junction electrode, which resists blockage and allows particulates to be flushed or rinsed away. Viscous and sticky samples can pose similar problems. Cosmetic creams, foods like sauces and yogurts, and environmental waste and slurries can make it more difficult to achieve accurate and reliable pH readings. A solution to this issue is to use an electrode with an open, capillary, renewable, or flushable junction that allows blockage to be rinsed away, renewing the junction in seconds. Temperature is critical to your pH measurements, so it's important to know your sample temperature as accurately as possible. Temperature can be measured using a triode, where a temperature sensor is incorporated into the electrode or with a separate temperature probe. Triode electrodes are a great choice because they take up less space in your sample vessel and provide accurate measurements without the need for a separate probe. For high temperature samples, look for an electrode that can safely work at elevated temperatures. For samples that are much cooler or warmer than room temperature, refillable glass electrodes with a non-silver reference system, like a thermoscientific Orion Ross electrode, will respond rapidly to temperature changes and keep a stable reference signal. Samples with extreme pH values require specific electrodes 
to obtain accurate readings. This means using electrodes that are sensitive across the entire pH range, from 0 to 14 pH units. Historically, not all pH glass has been able to read across the full pH range. All Thermoscientific Orion Standard and Advanced Electrodes have this capability. Remember, pH is an aqueous measurement. The more water present in your sample, the easier your readings will be. In some samples, like glacial acetic acid, solvents or oils, water content is at a minimum. While it's still possible to read pH values in non-aqueous samples, special electrodes should be used. Electrodes with double junctions and very stable reference systems can help. At the center of every pH measurement is a pH electrode that drives the accuracy and reproducibility of the entire system. The key is selecting the correct pH electrode from the start. By understanding your sample, you can remove the guesswork and help ensure that you're selecting the right pH electrode for your application. Thank you for watching and learning. To learn more, visit thermofisher.com forward slash pH electrode.